you know so i understood then time came and then we had to go back to varsity right and then i told her that uh, i loved her and then she said thank you <laughs> yeah ne? so we went back to varsity went back to varsity uh, my mom was starting to to believe that i can actually uh take care of myself you know because i've survived the first term now second term uh life continued life continued and then i saw more of these pictures from this guy now it was quite showing uh, even when my best friend tried stopping him from dating my girl the guy told him literally well, this girl is my girlfriend there's nothing you can you boys can do about it because i know you are far you are in pretoria and i'm very far there's nothing you can ever do you know and then it started sinking in i accepted that you know what my girlfriend has another boyfriend but the way i love her ne? the way i love her i'm okay with it i don't mind her having another boyfriend some of you guys will say it's stupid it's fine but you don't know how i felt at that time i was okay with it at that time i was okay with the fact that she had another boyfriend you know and i didn't even confront her about it you know so school wise i was doing okay i was doing okay attending classes every day and so forth but on campus on campus i didn't have friends i was one of those weird guys on campus right when it comes to varsity i was one of those weird guys who always have headphones on i i was not a uh, a, a, a socializing type of guy i didn't want friends the main reason why i didn't want friends at varsity was because of this when every time that i'm when every time i'm alone in varsity i would think of myself driving a big car living in a big house like i would enjoy daydreaming now if you are a popular guy in varsity you can't really have time to to daydream because whenever you sit down people are coming and they are talking to you so i used to enjoy myself whenever i would walk from the room to the campus I, 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 people would see me walking but i didn't see myself walking i was seeing myself driving a big machine and even today people even today i don't mind living wherever i am with a g63 just to drive on the same road that i used to walk on just to remind myself so that's how i get to remind myself of where i come from you know so that i don't get taken away by the certain type of lifestyle and nonsense now uh school wise i was pushing 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 now towards exams when i was about to write my exams here's the thing when i was about to write my exams now that thing hit me very hard that how can this girl do this to me you know i've had a couple of uh, suicidal thoughts that okay what what do i have to live for if uh, a shout out to master kg master kg in chaka what's even pinch so if if this girl is no longer with me then why why do i have to live you know I, I don't i don't i don't see any reason for me to leave i might as well end my life but here's the problem problem i don't know what is leguala in english i don't know the right word about uh, we are concerning that but that's that was the problem so i don't have i didn't have the nerve because i'm scared of pain and i know suicide is pain so i i told myself that i'm gonna hang in there i'm gonna hang in there and see what happens now my exam june exam 2013 i must say my girlfriend was the reason why i actually failed because most of the time whenever I'm, i was supposed to study i would think about her a lot and sometimes i would occasionally cry you know but crying does not mean hurry uh, i was like mm -hmm. no late at night when my roommate is sleeping out cry silently you know to show that i'm in pain you know but there's nothing i can do about that at that moment but it was fine so i didn't uh, study enough because i would think about her sometimes when i'm making notes i'd cry and then tears would cover my books and all that 
you know and i tried to be strong that was just love i didn't see any reason for me to live anymore you know and i'm saying this because i know there's someone right now who is in love and they think they can't live without any without someone people you can live without a person i'm telling you it's just that problem is when you don't have money it's very difficult have money you will see you don't need anyone have money people you will see now uh, life went on june recess i remember june recess when the school closed 2013 i went home now i went home when i got home Vele, my mom was excited that my son is back home but now she can see the difference between how i was uh, in march when i went home and how i am in june because i've lost weight so she started being worried that what if i'm not eating healthy what if i'm being abused adversity and i couldn't talk to her that mom and like i'm i'm they are hating me there's this girl that i love and she's hating me and i think it's a problem you see i have a son and i want my son and i to have that relationship you know i'm gonna be the one even though the mother of my kid won't agree i know for sure but I'm going to be the one teaching my son how to masturbate. I will tell him. I'm going to be that type of a father. I will tell him, teach him how to masturbate and so forth. I will teach him everything so that even when they hurt him, he's able to talk to me as his father. And then whenever he comes to me and like, Daddy, I'm hurt. I'm like, who hurt you? And then uh, he says, uh, it's Karabo from Senten. I'm like, where does she stay? She's staying what 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 in Rivonia, and then I take my private jet, I fly, I fly, and then I'm I'm going to stand or fly or park on top of the girl's roof with a microphone that you are not worth it for my son. You see, I'm going to be that type of a father that he must talk to me about any anything because so many people are very suicidal because of relationships because they are unable to talk to their parents about it because our parents don't want us to date first things first you know so i want to have that type of a, a, a relationship with my boy you know and the only problem that i would have is a, having the type of a relationship with a girl because i wouldn't want my baby girl to get fucked that's the problem but my son i would want him to fuck it's fine i think i'm okay with that so far now uh, I was unable to talk to my mom that mommy and like I'm hurting the reason why I'm losing weight is because this girl hurt me and I love her and sometimes I want to commit suicide because I feel like I'm nothing without her she's part of my future all the dreams that I've been dreaming about she's always there my daily imagination she's always there you know and I was unable to do so because you know how our black parents are it's very difficult now I, I i i arranged to see my girlfriend i said baby i miss you so much keep in mind i already knew that she was cheating on me right but i was willing to forgive her without her knowing like i was forgiving her without her knowing that i know i was willing to forgive her you know fine we agreed to meet i remember the date it was on the 25th of june 25th of june i uh, know it was on the 22nd yeah 22nd of june uh when I, I i i wanted to meet her we went there uh to we we, we met vela we talked and then i told her how much i love her and so forth you know i even wanted to apologize that baby i'm sorry that you are cheating on me I'm sorry. Imagine a person cheats on you and you are the one who's apologizing. The biggest question is it is it love or is it stupidity or is it just poverty on its own? Because poverty can make you do that. There is no person with money who can do that. I'm quite sure about that. You know? Fine. And I wanted to apologize and so forth. And she told me that you know what Hopozo, i i love you and then i started smiling and then she said i love you but when she said but i knew that something was coming uh, but i can't do this anymore i'm like what do you mean and then 
she's like i can't do us anymore you're just not the guy for me there's nothing wrong with that you know those breakup lines there's nothing wrong with you it's actually me you know those lines and i i don't see myself with you in the future you're not the type of a guy that i'm looking for right and so forth and i was like okay you're not the type of a guy that you 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 are you you are looking for and you've only realized that after you went to varsity that simply means that you've met better guys i was like okay and i begged her that baby girl please don't break my heart don't leave me i won't be able to function without you you know and she said i'm sorry it's better to be honest than to be in a relationship whereby i'm not happy i was like okay you know one thing that i will always respect her for is it's always better to tell a person where you stand with them rather than to have them think otherwise i think it's better for a person to know the truth you know so big ups to her for letting me know at that time than just to drag me until i eventually get more and more and more and more and more and more and more hurt you know and i asked her that baby girl can i just get last one last kiss like just one last kiss and then she gave me one last kiss like it's like it was in the movies you know that kiss whereby you are kissing your the love of your life the love of your life and you know it's for the last time you're kissing them and then at that time i was sharing a tear with one eye i was crying with one eye knowing that she's gone right i mean like i just didn't get it i feel i'm a nice guy maybe now i'm no longer a nice guy it's fine but the reason why i'm like this is because of the things that happened in my life but at that time i was more or less innocent i i don't remember hating anyone at that time now i've had plenty and life goes on it's part of life that was strong they will be strong we were strong it's part of life unfortunately you know at that time i was innocent i didn't understand how can they hurt me i mean just me <laughs> i remember that time there was no coach there was no forex guy forex didn't exist in my world that was just me at that time now uh, i've accepted i went home it was around 7 to 8 pm i went home throughout the way when going home i was crying like that was for the first time deeply crying for a girl 2013 i was crying 22nd of june crying 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 but when i was crying at the same time i was like one day one day one day is one day you know the reason why i'm emphasizing this is because i want you to know that whoever hurts you in your life you can forgive them but never forget use that that pain use it to better yourself trust me use that pain to better yourself you will be surprised hey even though i know we have different ways of becoming successful but that's just the method which i used and i didn't know that the method was gonna work until it worked that's just the sad truth you know because i have people who ask me coach did you know that you're going to be successful hell no i didn't know that i was gonna be successful hell no you know and it's fine uh I got home my mom prepared my favorite meal i couldn't even eat she noticed something was wrong i went straight to my room i called my cousin crying and then he he told me that it's gonna be fine i called my best friend crying told me that it's gonna be fine it's not the end of the world and all that so when i, I didn't even sleep when i was thinking in my room i was having this suicidal thoughts but the problem was that it was not possible at that time you know because uh the house that I was, my, my my father's house was not really perfect 
the planks were up high like there was no way i could commit suicide you know that's just the truth it, it, it crossed my mind a couple of times because of love i think that's why i actually got to be successful because of love you know it's fine so people should understand if you think i'm heartless now you must know that i was once a softy like a softy now i give him a say but no no which are nonsense i can tell you crap one way you know i can tell you crap because we 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 are all born soft but the things which are happening to us they're turning us in, into monsters occasionally you know at some point they're making us strong at some point that they're 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 turning us into monsters so i couldn't even sleep i tried masturbating my dick didn't even go up i was just thinking about her that was the longest recession ever monday 25th of uh june i went to town right my mom saw that i'm not okay and then she said son let me go buy you your favorite sneakers there's these sneakers which i've always wanted so then she said let me go to town i have i've opened an account they've approved it let me go take the sneakers for you she took me to town i was happy oh when i'm at the mall ta, i see her the same girl who hurt me. Now, the first thing which came to my mind was like, I should just tell my mom that, Mommy, this is the girl who hurt me. This is the reason why I'm losing weight. I wanted to tell my mom. But you know how black parents are. The first question was like, was going to be, when did you start dating? You see, it was going to be a problem. I was not going to be able to, to, to answer those questions. Funny enough, she greeted us, me and my mom. And then my mom greeted her back and I didn't. I was angry. Like I was angry. You know that thing, you're trying to move on, but the person who hates you just keeps on going to wherever place you keep on going to. I felt like that at that time. I was like, she's all over. Hi, she's all over. Fine. Now, uh, time went by, time went by, time went by. Then it was time to go back to school. We went back to school. Uh, and remember, I failed. Yes, I forgot to mention that part. I failed my exams. Remember in varsity, the varsity has been divided into two. There's first six months, last six months. Ne? So first six months, I've actually failed. I've only passed one subject, I think. I think it was mercantile law. That was the only subject I've, I've passed. Everything else, I've failed it because I didn't study. Ne? Second semester, semester when we went uh, back to school, uh, I was trying to keep focus. But the last six months of the second semester in 2013, I was actually healing from, from the heartbreak. You know, healing from the heartbreak. I was talking every day, checking her pictures with her new boyfriend, wishing them bad luck so that they don't last. I know it's witchcraft. Witchcraft is not only using moti. It's wishing bad on another person witchcraft is saying bad things about a person who has never done anything wrong to you like what you witches are saying about me after you what you witches are going to be saying af about me after living the life or what you witches are already saying about me even though you have no fucking idea what i've been through for me to get to where i am you know when I, 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 I take five minutes to decide to buy a car, you think I'm bragging. You have no idea where I come from. That's witchcraft. That is witchcraft. Witchcraft is not only using moti. So I was doing witchcraft at that time. I wished bad on them. I even wished they can die together. That I didn't care at that time. You know, but it was because of being hurt. You know, that's why they say that never make a decision when you are hurt. Because when you, 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 you feel much better, you, you, you start regretting. So, but I don't regret me wishing that on them at that time. It was very relevant for me. It kept me going. Remember, when you get hurt, convince yourself otherwise. So I convinced myself that their relationship will last. She's going to come back running to me. That was, that's what I convinced myself, you know. So... School wise, I started my my school work started started getting affected. You know, I didn't perform as much as uh, I thought I would. You know, and then towards year end, I've actually failed, like literally I've failed. So 
I was still healing. Six months later, I was still healing from that, you know? That's how much of a softy I used to be. I used to take a long time healing. But hurt me now. Hurt me now. I'm going to open a trade, make one million. Go buy your boyfriend's dream car and go spin it in front of your yard. Hurt me now. You will see that I'm not a human being. But at that time, I used to have a good heart. I used to, you know, be a soft being. <laughs> it's part of life. It's part of, of growing up, unfortunately. So, December uh, results came uh, and then I failed. Now, keep in mind, I didn't know that I was going to be the coach that you know today. Back at that time, it was my present. My present, I mean. I was hopeful at that time, you know, I was hopeful. And during the progress of 2013, I was pushing music as well. I was pushing music, you know, pushing music, pushing music, pushing music. But my main focus was not music entirely. My main focus was a relationship, relationship and school in a way. But what was dominating was a relationship. I wanted my love life to be perfect because that was the only thing which kept me going at that time, you know. December... 2013, I failed. I found out how I failed almost everything. Now, the plan that I had was to change my course. So I've actually applied for, for another course. So meaning that 2014, now I'm going for a new course. Now I'm going for a new course in varsity because the first one I failed. So now the new course was economic management analysis. The course that I've moved from was a local government finance which is being an accountant at the local government municipality in a way you know so 2014 uh, i've changed to economic management analysis so when you're applying for a new course while you're already in the system the varsity system is not the same as applying for a new course where else you're not on their system so it i got accepted within few days and then i was taken in the new course now that was second year in varsity but first year now, I'm, I'm, I'm trying by all means to go detail by detail so that you can get to understand how I developed the hatred for school and how what pushed me to actually leave school into pushing what I push. And I want you guys to understand what pushes me even today, even though people are talking nonsense about me. But the main reason why I'm still pushing even today is because... 99% of these people who talk about me have no idea who they are talking about. They have no idea who, what I've been through. Nothing. They're just talking. So may the Lord punish them with poverty in the name of Jesus Christ. Punish them. Hit them with poverty. Hit them with poverty in the name of Jesus. That's how I pray for my enemies. But it's fine. Second year. Now, 2014, I've told myself that, you know what? I'm going to push more into music now i want to push more into being this dj that i want to be you know and at that time i was dj hopozo at that time i was that time i was dj hopozo you know so i will tell you guys how the dj coach thing came about i was dj hopozo at that time you know i didn't really have a proper name so 2014 very uh, the new course was okay but slowly i was starting to lose interest in school the main thing which used to make me go mad when i think about school is how my father got to work for this company for 20 years and he gets a package of less than fifty thousand, probably 30 something thousand working for 20 years for 30 something thousand that's nonsense you know and how my mother can actually make more money for his boss and then she gets paid peanuts, you know. So those are the things which used to, to, to make me angry when it comes to school. So ever since from 2014, I was seeing myself shading away from the idea of me being an economist that I was, that, that was the course, the actual course that I was, that I was studying at that time. I was slowly sh fading away from that dream of being educated, graduating. So I told myself that, you know what, I'm going to be a DJ. I'm going to be a DJ and I'm going to make it in the music industry. I'm going to be famous. 
That's the spirit which I had. So slowly I was healing from the relationship. Now it's no longer hurting the way it used to hurt. You know, uh, it was becoming much, much, much more better. But truth of the matter is, if the girl decided to come back, and say babe i'm sorry i want you back i was gonna take her back because at that time i never really stopped loving her you know i just started hating her out of love you know when you hate someone out of love you just hate the fact that you love them you don't really hate them you hate the fact that you love them and they are not doing what you want them to do you know which is loving you back now 2014 that's when the DJing thing started. The DJing career started. Now, that was in 2014. Now, my people, I have a lot. Remember, this Forex trading thing only started in 2016. Now, I'm still not there as yet. Now, I will, I'm covering situations whereby I was hustling so that you can get to understand that I deserve whatever success which comes my way. I've been a, through a lot, people, you know. So, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, as much as uh, I love you guys, it's uh, almost two hours in this life. It's like 12 o'clock right now. Thank you to all the people who have been watching uh, uh, part one of the story. Part two, part two is coming very, very soon. I will find time whereby I will be starting from 2014 till 2016. Then part three will be from 2016, which is what you will be waiting for, I believe. So please, you can set your notifications on so that when I go live next time, it notifies you. But thank you guys, the 1,000 people who are watching me live for my story. Thank you guys. I, I really, really appreciate it. You know, uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because I want you guys to know and understand who exactly are you following, you know? Uh, because I don't want that thing, you're following this celebrity and you don't really know how... They all The only thing they tell you is, when you ask them, how did you make it? The only, the only thing they tell you is, keep on pushing. But the question is, keep on pushing what? You know, if only these celebrities would be honest with you guys, you'd get to understand that the process that you're going through right now is part of success. The process that you're, the hating, the poverty state, the everything that you're going through right now is part of success, right? If you're not going through this, you will never get successful. So people are asking me to save this live. Uh, it will be available on my timeline so you can watch it tomorrow in case you don't know the full thing. So part zero is also available on my timeline. Nonetheless, I know there's still a lot of you guys who want to hear my story and so forth. But now, thank you guys. Thank you guys for everything. Uh, thank you guys for watching. May the Lord bless your hustle. Now I'm tired. Uh, I need to masturbate now so that I can uh, sleep. You know, I'm still proud even today. Thank you guys for having me. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Just make sure you set your notifications on. But I will do notify uh, when I'm going to go live for part two, whereby I will be taking it from 2014 till 2016, uh, whereby my Forex journey started now. The main thing that you guys are waiting for. And I believe when I'm done, uh, because it's still locked down, when I'm done with these sessions, Every time when you think of the situation that you're in at that moment, you'll remember that more or less I've been in a similar situation. There's actually nothing inspiring about uh, being a cheese boy. If I come to you guys, all of a sudden, I just come to you guys with an A45 or C63 and a big house or whatever the case it may be. And then you ask me, guys, how did you make it? And then I tell you guys that now nah, my father bought it for me or my mom bought it for me. There's nothing inspirational about that. You know, uh, there's nothing inspirational about uh, uh, being a chess boy because people need to connect with you from the roots. That's why even today I have my day one niggas. I have people whom I know, regardless of what the media says about me, they will always stand with me. Do you know why? It's because they, saw, they know the 2016 me and they know the 2020 me. 
Now, the ones who are attacking are people who just randomly see a post on social media. They don't really know who I am, where I come from. But I can reassure you, I'm nothing related to a cheese boy. I know almost each and every condition concerning poverty that you are experiencing right now. Trust me. And I've taken myself out of this situation without having a sponsor. You know, so what I mean is that you asking help from people and them not helping you is not is no excuse for for you not to be successful you can just keep on pushing your time will come the only problem with how god operates is that you never really know when exactly is your time you just keep on pushing just keep on pushing you know and whatever you do people will never stop talking whether it's good or bad they will never, never, ever, ever stop talking. You know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, thank you guys for watching me today. And people are saying new car. People are saying new car. Uh, I don't have a new car. I don't have a new car. Sometimes you must just go to the garage, take pictures and post. Just to provoke your enemies. And I did so. And then they were, they were provoked. They were provoked. They were provoked. You know, I don't have a new car. But I'm going to say what I say. If you believe that I'm real, I'm real. If you believe that I'm a scam, I'm a scam. Whatever that you believe about me is true. Right? Now I'm trying to program you guys into believing what you believe. If you believe I've bought a car, I've bought a car. If you believe I didn't buy a car, I didn't buy a car. If you believe I'm renting cars, I'm renting cars. Believe whatever believe that makes you sleep at night then now i will live my life that's the only way for me to live my life in peace i understand so you believe whatever that you want to believe i'm okay with it so those who believe i've bought a car i've bought a car those who believe i've rented i've rented those who believe i i don't have anything i'm poor i'm poor so whatever you believe man it's fine i support you it's true you know it's true, man. Because ah, sometimes these people are very stubborn. You see, poverty, poverty, the only problem with poverty is not, is not really a situation. Poverty, it's like it has transformed into a disease. It's a disease. Poverty is a disease. Right now, you don't know me, you don't know my story. But once a celebrity, a big celebrity comes with a story about me, you believe it. Why? Because when you are poor, you don't question anything. When you are poor, your poverty, your current state of poverty, even attend, uh, 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 affect your mentality. You start thinking like poor people. You know, right now, right now, trust me, if, if something comes, if there is any media statement which comes uh, about a certain person, the way I would respond to the statement is not the, the, way, the same way poor people would respond. The first thing, when the headlines say, Ban 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 has been arrested, the first thing poor people do is, yes, we knew it. It's a scam. We knew it. We knew it. Now the first thing I, I, I do is, what happened? Now that's, that's, that lev that's a level of maturity. What happened? I wait for the other side's story. But poor people don't wait for any story. Poor people believes anything which seems to destroy any person who has made it. I and guys, I'm talking to you right now. Ne? I understand the con like poverty is like bipolar. I understand you guys are mentally sick, and I can assure you that I will always be there for you guys. I will always support you guys. The, how you think it's not your fault. I was. I'm talking to you guys as somebody who has been there. I used to hate successful people. I would randomly swear at them for no reason. And now that I used to do it, it's coming to me. People randomly swear at me for no reason. People I've never talked to, they can tell you where I am right now. People I've never talked to, they can tell you where I've been yesterday. You know, it's funny. People who don't know me talk about me like they know me. I, I can assure you guys... I know the condition that you're in. I will continue praying for you guys. It's not, you don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. I will continue praying for you because I was once one, one of you guys. Once you get successful one day, 
Once you get successful one day, you will be on the other side of the fence. That's when you'll actually see that, oh, fuck, I was actually sick. I was mentally sick. You know, success changes everything about how you think. It changes everything about how you think. How you view a hustler is not how I view a hustler. The same person you would call a fraudster or a scammer or a what what. Not to me. I see a hustler. Marawena, because poverty, it's, 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 a, it's a disease. I will pray for you guys. I will pray for you guys because I can't let you guys like live like this because I was once like you. So understand, I'm not trying to be better than you guys, but I, but I was once one of you guys. So I know the situation that you are going through. But one day when you make it, when you make it, you'll get to think different. You'll get to think smart. Nonetheless, thank you guys for watching. And shout out to my day one supporters. And I know majority of the people who are watching right now, it's witches. Witches, I'm still here. I'm still here. You are saying I was, I've fallen. I'm still, I will ne Witches, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. You, uh, hey. But nonetheless, thank you guys. Hey, I talk too much. I will save the live video. And may the Lord bless your hustle. I'll see you guys next time. Please don't forget to turn on post notifications. Uh, so that when I go live, it notifies you directly. But yeah, thank you guys for having me today. May the Lord bless your hustle.